This video is going to show you how to save one prompt and create multiple articles in a matter of minutes specific to your niche and what you want your article to contain. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a side, a free Chrome extension called Cider. Then we're going to go in and pull the prompt, paste a link, and it's going to write the entire article for us. So I'm going to show you the concept. I'm going to show you where to get this Chrome extension and what the strategy is. So take a look here. Obviously, you can see in the right hand sidebar how this is working. I'm going to show you that in a minute. So here's a concept creating, um, establishing authority as an affiliate marketer with Google. So I'm creating a list of all the best affiliate programs per niche. So this article is 50 of the best affiliate programs for yoga, yoga affiliate programs. What I want to have happen is under each little description of an affiliate program, I'm linking to its own page, or in this case, it's a blog post if you're using WordPress, but either will work. So I'm linking this to its own page that's going to be all about these yoga affiliate programs, okay? Now, I don't want to write each one of these articles. I want instead for ChatGPT to write it for me based on what I have already established I want the article to include. In my case, it's a title that contains the target keyword. It's an intro. Then it's a description of what the brand is. Then what the affiliate program details are then who the affiliate program is best for, and then how to promote that affiliate program specifically. So it's creating these series of articles that I don't have to do, it's being written for me. So here's the list of 50 yoga programs that I already included. So let's just go ahead and pick one. In this case, we're gonna do this Bulldog Yoga affiliate program, and my little Grammarly Chrome extension is telling me I have a typo, so I fixed that real quick. So Bulldog Yoga affiliate program. So what I would do, so I would take this name of the affiliate program I'm looking for, then I would go over to Google, and we're going to type in the name of that affiliate program so that it finds the details for us. Then we're going to click on those details of the affiliate program. So it's going to pull all the current data from this page so that I know it's accurate. So I'm not using a competitor's page or another affiliate program's page. I'm using the actual brand's affiliate page wherever I can find it. I'm going to copy that link. Then I'm going to open this Cider Chrome extension. There is a link to this description below. I don't have an affiliate with this company where I make any money off of them, but I do have a referral link, which I will give you. And it's a free Chrome extension, but they do have some upgrade options. I believe right now what I'm showing you today is part of the free version. I'm just using 3.5, not the 4.0, just the 3.5. And what I have here is I have saved my prompt in their little prompt library. Okay, so this is how it works. I click on the prompt and I'll show you how to save the prompt in a minute. I click on the prompt. I find my saved prompt. In this particular case, it's called affiliate article. So yours could be whatever template it is you're using. Then I'm just going to paste in the link to that page and I'm going to hit enter. Now, ChatGPT is going to write about the affiliate program. Okay, now if it's pulling from the web in general, you might get misinformation. But what is really cool about this is it does have the option at the bottom to surf from the web instead. Okay, so it created this entire post, which we can use, but maybe I want to verify. I'm going to, oh, oh, it already did pull from the web. So it did pull from this page. If it doesn't pull from this page, it doesn't pull from the web. Instead, Click compare answer from original chat GPT and it'll rewrite the blog. Okay. So in this particular case, it's telling us what the affiliate program is, why to join it. And if you click these links that it's already included, it's taking them to a list of the products they include. And you can verify that that link works by clicking that. And it does, which is what we want to see. Then it's got the program details and it's basically saying up to 20% commission. The cookie duration is 30 days. Okay. Now, if that doesn't look accurate to you, you can go look and replace those. You can re 
replace it with a paid membership, $6 per user, replace it with a $1 mem per sign up. These affiliate links often change. And I will tell you this, that if ChatGPT cannot find the exact results, it may make up things as well. So I always cross check those facts. So for example, let's just say I'm looking at it, I'm going, I'm not sure where it's getting that 20% from. So I'm going to say replace the, and it's up here. We're going to do this one. Replace the commission. Okay. Under program details, where does it say 20%? It was up top. It said up to 20% is what I saw somewhere. Okay, so earn up to 20%. So replace the program details based on this. And I'm just going to paste in those that information instead. It may say somewhere on here up to 20%. I'm just skimming. But since I didn't see it right out of the gate, I just want to make sure that's accurate. Okay, so there we go. It replaced it. Free trial sign up, earn up to $1. And this is not directly copying this either. It's not direct copyright infringement. It's, it's taking the information and then it's changing it into our own words and generalizing it. But it'll write the whole entire blog for you. And then what I do is I'm just going to, I'm going to click copy. I go over and create a new post and then I paste that in. Okay, so with the title usually in check, we can do it like this instead. This is a better way. There's a clipboard on this sidebar that we can use and it is right here. And let me make sure that, that it does. Okay. So let's just say we're going off the one that has the title. I'll just click copy and I'm going to paste it right into my blog right here, right from the title. Okay. And again, Go through your facts. If there's something that doesn't look right, just tell ChatGPT to rewrite it with your copy and paste info and it'll give you the current information. Okay. Now, next thing to I'll show you is how to save this prompt so that it writes the article that you want. So right here, when you open Cider, which you can open this from any tab, what you're going to do is you're going to click on these prompts and then click on the little wheel for the settings and it'll help you manage the prompts. Now look, here's all my prompts. So all you have to do is go to a new prompt and you're going to paste in the prompt that you want. So write your prompt first, test it in chat GPT, and then you're going to save it. In my particular case, it looks like this. So this is what I would have tested in chat GPT first. Then once I know it's where I want it, I go to new prompt and I paste it right in here. Prompt name is affiliate article. So here's an example of what my prompt looks like, although you'll want to change this to fit your niche. Write an article about the affiliate program using the link provided. That is how we're going to get it to go surf the web. Okay. If you're using original chat GPT, the straight up open AI version, and you have a plugin like web chat GPT or uh, what's the other one web pilot, you can get this same type of thing, but I love the ability to just save this prompt in this Chrome extension sidebar and just pull it, drop in the link. So it's super fast. So write an article about the affiliate program using the link provided open with a compelling intro explaining the value of joining the affiliate program. Use the affiliate program in the title, opening paragraph, subheadings, closing paragraph, and meta description. So there I'm optimizing it for SEO, right? Include what the brand is, product to carry, specific affiliate program details, who the affiliate program is best for, how to promote it, giving specific examples, and elaborate on each. List two examples for each suggestion. Include a short disclaimer about visiting each affiliate website to verify information. Use markdown format. That's how you get those headings and subheadings and then write a meta description. This gives me the article that I want. Now, if I wanted to, if I want to add to this, I, I figure out another section I would like my article to have. Let's do this. For example, I could do, um, write a, uh, use markdown format right here, include a bio about Lori Ballin affiliate marketer. Okay. And then write a meta description and I have a colon there because that's where I'm going to paste the link. So let me save it. So we'll do this again. So you can see this time I'm going to grab this link, 
Got the affiliate program details, right? Close the sidebar. I'm going to open the sidebar. I'm going to pull in the new version of, of affiliate article. Okay, I could have just saved, edited the first one. And now we paste in the link. Now this one will have the bio in it, as long as I pulled the right one. So there's the intro, there's the value of joining it. Oh, now we got our, we got all the payout information correct this time. Create yoga and fitness guide, social media promotion. There it is. Look at the bottom. About the author. Lori Ballen is an experienced affiliate marketer who specializes in promoting health and wellness brands with a passion for yoga and fitness. Okay, now again, ChatGPT might hallucinate. I really don't specialize in promoting health and wellness brands. It's just, it's guessing or it's going out and scouring the web. I specialize in affiliate marketing. So I would just change that to affiliate marketing. And where it says with a passion for yoga and fitness, I would change that to with a passion for affiliate marketing. Okay, something like that. And then it's putting in a LinkedIn link. So I would check and make sure that really is my LinkedIn link. And it is. So it's pulling that correct. And then my website, let me check that. Is it pulling the correct website? It is. So it, it hallucinated a little bit saying I was a health and wellness specialist. I mean, I do have a keto coaching business, so it could be, it could fit, but I would probably just go ahead and change that a little bit and you could customize it. You could write the bio, save that in the prompt and then it'll write the same prompt. It'll write the same bio every time. So you don't have to cross check that. I just wanted to show you how you could add one little section and edit this. And then each time you create your article, it'll be good to go. You paste it over here. You're done. Check out my chat GPT for bloggers course in the link below.